Tor or a VPN? Which one really protects you online? In just under three minutes, I'll break down how they compare, when to use each, and whether combining them actually works. For a refresher, a VPN is a tool that hides your internet activity by sending it through one secure server. It makes it look like you're browsing from somewhere else and keeps your data private. As for Tor, it's short for the Onion Router, a free privacy network that hides your activity by bouncing it through a relay of random computers around the world. It's slower, but much harder to trace. Let's dig in. So what is a VPN? A VPN routes all your traffic through one private server, masking your IP and encrypting your connection. It's easy, fast, and great for streaming, but some VPN providers may be able to see your traffic. What is Tor? Tor bounces your traffic through at least three volunteer-run relays. Super anonymous, decentralized, no single point can trace you, but it's slower. It's great for censorship circumvention, frequently used by spies and journalists. VPN versus Tor, head to head. For these features, as you can see, Tor, much slower. Multi-hop latency is a factor. VPN, much faster. As for privacy, as far as Tor is concerned, it's true decentralization, no logs are possible. VPN, your IP is masked, yes, but some service providers can see your logs. Geoon blocking, yes, they both have it. Tor can reach blocked sites via bridges, relays that help you circumvent censorship. Anonymity, Tor's anonymity, Excellent. It is much harder to de-anonymize. VPN, good. But, again, there's always a risk that some providers might keep logs. Combo, Tor plus VPN. Yes, you can layer them. Journalists and activists do. But it slows you down, often too slow for everyday use. So it's not the most practical case if you don't need it. So what should you use? If you're just browsing and streaming online, use the VPN. But if you need high anonymity or VPNs are blocked in your area, Tor is the way to go. Want to use both? Sure, it's layered, but again, prepare for very slow speeds. Tips and caution. With a VPN, choose a no-logs provider, RAM-only servers, and strong protocols like WireGuard and OpenVPN. When using Tor, avoid personally identifiable information, disable your scripts, and keep your Tor browser updated. In conclusion, both tools have their place. Choose what fits your needs, speed, privacy, or both. Like and subscribe for more breakdowns. For a VPN that doesn't have logs and works hand-in-hand -hand with Tor, we of course recommend Winscribe. Check out our Choosing a VPN Provider video for further insights.